so yeah, basically, I wanted to put the chat up on the side, um, but I didn't feel like doing that today. But we were going to be doing, I'm just going to be recording builds, testing them like I would build a drift to kill it, but it's just going to be live. Um, and it will be posted on YouTube later. Is that a connect for a camera? No. I don't know why it's zooming in by itself. Shouldn't be doing that. It's never done that before, ever. Hey there, what's up? All right, I'll see if I can fix that as soon as possible. Uh, Ollie the Chicken Lover. Your name's kind of goofy, but thanks for following. How come I don't stream often? Because I don't have any time. It's the same reason I don't upload videos often. Twin turbo. Uh, we'll see we are with the weight and everything after we're done. So there's the BMW. This looks stupid. Uh, that looks equally as stupid. We'll stay stock in the front. Yeah, this zoom looks really dumb, eh, guys? I'll see if I can fix it as soon as possible. I like this little rear wing. Um... I like that rear bumper. And of course, the stream would not be complete without my cat coming in to fuck it up. Go away. And uh, that head looks stupid. And you were so quiet and not doing anything for the longest time. And as soon as I say, hey, I'm going to start streaming, you got to go, hey, what's going on out here? Go away! What can we get for a rear tire on here? 315! Oh, baby, that's huge. That's almost too big. 295. Uh, 265's plenty. And we'll do street tires, and then we'll build the car. This is like one of the first times I think I've ever built a car live, especially if it's being posted on YouTube, if it gets posted on YouTube, with the spooky zoom. Yeah, I'll see if I can fix that. I don't know what's causing it, but uh, I'll fix it after this. It's because I've already started. And then I'll have to run back and like you won't be able to see me. It'll be dumb for a bit, but... Buy with credits, thank you. Yeah, let's do rally suspension. I don't even understand what rally suspension is, honestly. It's just like race suspension set up a certain way. Holy laggy menus, Batman. I'm also not hearing um, preview noises if you're following or donating. So if I, for whatever reason you follow me and I don't say anything, that is my, my, my bad. Oh, you don't say that the stock upgrade is already installed. Thanks for the tip. So we'll see how much power this makes. No game volume at all. I'll try turning that up. What's up, home Britos? I can't even pronounce that. This first build is going to be a little weird. For those watching it on YouTube, it's just going to be this one that'll be all strange. Um, I'm pretty sure you don't hear anything just because it's all ambient sounds. It's like nothing loud has happened yet. So it's going to be stock 535. Um, that's not enough power. It is, but it's not. I was thinking like six, 600, 650 with that weight. It sits real nice, at least. 637 with twin turbos. That should be plenty. So this car, I'm going to make it all white everything, I think. I'm building 
Uh, every March car that's not something stupid, so like the Tanner Faust car I'm not building. Um, and then I'm going to build a bunch of cars that I've always wanted to build, that I've been waiting to do for videos. Um, so, like the FRS and stuff, R34. I don't think I'm going to do the GRC Beetle. There's nothing you can do to that except for taking restrictors off. The wheel's a bit bigger, I think. Just for reasons of stance. Mm. 18's in the front, 19's in the rear. Actually, nah, we'll do 19's all around. Let me get through the, uh, let me get through these list of cars here, guys. The, the March cars, and then I will be looking for requests. Go away, music. Go away. Go away. Thank you. So we do what we always do. Oh, I was going to say, don't tell me the, uh, the thing is down. That would be inappropriate. Um, festival Roots. Try this. This is usually how I pick my tracks. So I was going to go. And this one. And then uh, that one. So let's see. Let's see how it goes. I'm expecting better than the RCF. But anything can be better than the RCF. I love how I said the RCF was shit. And everyone's like, oh, no, it's a great car. It's awesome. And then once Top Gear came out, I was like, yeah, RCF's terrible. Doi. I told you. Gears are wonky in this game. They're never, like, how I want them to be. A little bit more camber for the reasons of stance. No really other reason than that. 6.0, start off with that. Yeah, I can probably do my roll bars like how I do. Normally do them a 15 and a half. Uh, slammed. Again, that's more for aesthetic purposes. I'm sure there is like a purpose of why people always lower their cars, but I feel like lowering's not the best thing you can do. That's just how I like my cars to look. So I sacrifice goodliness. Uh, I'm gonna make it a higher diff, 95 and then 85. Um. do that back out where'd my cup pop I said where I'm about to say where'd my cock go my cock is, is is where it always has been but my pop is right here today's stream is sponsored by coca-cola except for not at all San Giovanni old town circuit that one that one Arrow isn't a member of Twitch. I, I don't understand why am I not... How am I not a member of Twitch? I'm confused. Alright. Let's do it. So it sits really nice and it looks fucking sweet. These wheels actually were a good choice. I kind of just picked them because they were there, but... A lot of front grip. Sounds really good at high RPMs. So a lot of this is going to be me shaking out the cobwebs as well. I haven't played this game in a long time. A couple of, whoa, in a couple of weeks. A lot of grip coming from the back. 
Oh, wrong way. So it's really, really grippy. But I don't really mind it. It's just more of a thrashing car. That was almost cool, but it took me way too long to recover. This also is not a track that suits this car at all. Oh. A little bit of oversteer over that bump. That was a little too early. So you guys probably can't hear it very well. I'm going to turn up the game volume just a bit. But this car sounds fantastic. Even the turbos. The turbos just sound like they're... You know, like low pressure turbos. They don't make enough noise, but you hear them when they're spooled up type thing. Nope. That remote didn't even remotely go the way I wanted it to. So yeah, this is more for like short and medium courses. A lot of grip coming from that rear. I'm really glad I didn't go for 315s. 315s would have been such overkill. I think even the 295s are a little wide. With the right tune, actually, this could be a decent race car in, like, A-Class. Take some power out and... Oh, that was just poor driving. That was just really bad. Oh, okay. Okay, so, like, yeah, it's a little slow, but, I mean, it is weighty. But it is definitely one of those thrashing style cars you know something that you thrash and you drive listening to power metal and thinking about punching somebody you don't like in the face which is kind of my favorite car it does need a bit more horsepower though or just a little bit more tweaking with the setup I kept it off the wall. I kept it off the wall. I sacrificed a good run all on the sake of the backies. Basically, I just want this car to feel a little lighter. But the big V12 up front, I don't think that's possible. With the big tires in the back, again, don't think that's possible. It is fun, though. It is fun to drive. It's fun to drive in its own right. What's up, genius? As long as you stay away from big angle, you're fine. This gets a little bit harder to transition once you really start to push. Oh, a little drift tap there. Oh, it doesn't have a lot of power down low. It says it's got torque, but right around 5,000, there was power where that was just not there. It's like waiting for that second turbo to kick in almost. Right up near red line, though, it's fine. Pretty fun car. Um, needs this this one in particular. This build needs a little bit more work, but uh, you can't tune and drive at the same time. Unfortunately, it looks great. 
Oh, did you hear that? Oh. <laughs> Okay, when I said the turbo sounded like normal, I lied. Just if you, do, you guys build your own car, keep this tur twin turbo stock and just keep the revs under like 2,500. That sounds so fucking cool. Hey, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I also have a Facebook and a Twitter. For those links, be sure to check out the description box below.